Over the past several months, I've had hundreds of requests to test AMSOIL products. So today I'll be testing both the Power Foam as well as the Performance Improver to see if these products really work. Now previously we've tested both Seafoam, Marvel Mystery Oil, as well as B12 Chem Tool, and we see some pretty impressive results. So the question is, is AMSOIL up to doing as well or even better than these other products? Well, I'm not sure, but what I do know is we have an extremely dirty engine that needs some help. So let's see if AMSOIL can deliver. As you can see, there's a lot of buildup inside this carburetor. This bowl is really dirty. So during today's testing, I want to make sure that I apply a load on the engine for at least a little bit of the testing. So what I'll be doing is using the engine brake. Now these small engines, most of them have these engine brakes to bring the engine to a quick stop once the handlebar, um, the lever on the handlebar is released. In order to make this engine continue to run though, I'm going to have to disable the switch by removing this wire. So I went ahead and removed the gas tank that came on this lawnmower and I'm going to put this see-through tank on this engine just so we can actually watch the fuel as it's being consumed. Amsoil PI is an extremely potent concentrated detergent additive that is unsurpassed in removing damaged fuel injector, intake valve, and combustion chamber deposits. So this is specifically designed for combustion chamber deposits. Also, it says it's supposed to provide benefits after one tank of gasoline. This is not designed to be used repeatedly. In fact, it says about once every 4,000 miles of service. This is a safety data sheet on the Performance Improver gasoline additive. It contains between 25 and 50 percent polyester amine, 10 to 20 percent hydrotreated light distillates, 10 to 25% of hydrotreated heavy naphtha, and finally 0.3% of naphthalene. So the power foam is designed to remove stubborn deposits, varnish, and gum left by ethanol or degraded fuel in carburetors and fuel injected engines. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and use both of these products to see if we can clean up this engine. So the instructions on the power foam, basically you were supposed to remove the air filter and then spray this directly into the carburetor as fast as possible just to keep the engine running. You don't want the engine to stall, obviously. Once you're done with that, shut off the engine, allow it to sit for 10 to 15 minutes, and re repeat as necessary. This is a safety data sheet on the power foam. It contains somewhere between 25 and 50% of heavy aromatic solvent naphtha, also 10 to 25% of hydrotreated heavy naphthenetic distillates, and 10 to 20% of 2-butyl-oxoethanol, and finally 1 to 3% of Morpholine. If you ever have questions about the safety data sheet and you want to know more information about each of these ingredients, you can always refer to the CAS number. You can look this up online and get a lot more information. I'm going to fill up the fuel tank halfway and then I'm going to add the performance improver. Okay, this is a 12 fluid ounce container or 355 milliliters and one bottle treats up to 20 gallons. So what I'm going to do is add one ounce, which is definitely more than enough to treat basically about a quart.
Well, the AMS Oil Performance Improver and Power Foam seem to deliver a powerful one-two punch inside the combustion chamber. Inside the bowl of the carburetor, the Performance Improver didn't seem to get all the varnish cleaned up. However, I'd like to know your opinion. Do you think AMS Oil is as good as Seafoam and Marvel Mystery Oil? Or do you think Marvel Mystery Oil and Seafoam are better products? In the past, we saw some pretty good results from them. Anyway, I'm not sponsored by AMS Oil, Marvel Mystery Oil, or Seafoam, and I plan to keep it that way. I just have a lot of fun testing products to see what works and what doesn't. I hope you like, share, and subscribe. There's something I can do better. Please let me know about that as well. I look forward to reading your comments on future video ideas. Please take care, and I look forward to seeing you next time.